Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to Life is Strange Before the Storm. A lot of people have been asking me what this is right here, the thing that I'm pointing at. That is a missing persons poster of somebody that I kidnapped. I put it up here and a lot of people who don't know much about Life is Strange just ask me, what the hell am I doing with a missing persons poster? Yeah, that's Rachel Amber right there. That is somebody who we are going to see in this Before the Storm prequel. I'm really excited to get into it, so no more talking. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. Uh, yeah, that train's coming in pretty hot. You know, you might want to move. It says Leet. Really? The train is Leet. She's Leet. Is that Chloe? That's gotta be Chloe. Nobody is that badass. Yep. That's Chloe. I remember, um, I think it's coming back to me now. Her and Max were over here. I think I remember. This is like the Rachel Amber hideout. And there she is. She grew on me. I didn't really like her at first in the original game. But she I can't grew on believe me. Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. Fuck yeah, bro. Totally, bro. Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Well, what mama don't know won't hurt her. So I was kind of like on the fence about a Life is Strange Part 2 because I was really into Max's story and her superpowers. And I don't know how that's going to work out. And Chloe, you know, in this prequel, she doesn't have powers. She's just badass. So I don't know how no this is going to work. No trespassing? No way. Yeah, we don't follow rules. I'm Chloe, bitch. Yeah, kick the sign. Spit on it. Yeah. Fuck the sign. What the fuck, Chloe? Holy She's too badass shit. sometimes. Yeah, holy shit. This place looks like shit. I would not be impressed by this if I was this going to some party is like this. Awesome. It's not even awesome. If what are you I'm going to get about? inside, I'll have to get through Hold that on door. Hold on, R2 to move faster. Oh, you could have told me that from the get-go. I was taking my sweet time earlier. Let's look at this big thing. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. Ugh, oh, and I don't like the voice actress. Oh, God. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Didn't she owe somebody like big money in the real in the original game? Those guys need to get a room. What the fuck? Or not? No sound effects? Damn. Mind your own business. Okay, I don't want to get slapped. I have no idea what's going on there. I honestly thought they were gonna start making out. I didn't know he was gonna smack them. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Is that the same RV from the game? The one that the guy had? The one who owned the dog? I think it started this to come back to me. fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. <laughs> this band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. Let's do it. Let's get in there. What's the holdup? A second door inside. So close, and yet so far. That's not the door? How do we get inside? Oh, we gotta go through this big guy. The bouncer. Stereotypical bouncer. Let's smooth talk our way in. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. Let's see this fake ass shit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Ooh. Is that how to treat a lady? Come on, you big tub of love. He's not even a tub of love. That dude is yoked. Can't not let mess him push with that me guy. around. Should I go back and? Oh shit! I was trying to check out that garage door over there. I wasn't trying to go to this bouncer guy. There's something over here. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. The controls are very, very sensitive. I don't know where any other way is, guys. We gotta talk to this bouncer. God, again? What do you want, kid? Let me inside now. Yeah, that'll show him. The mill, your bike, walk away. Let's talk about his bike. Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. Oh, cringe. Gee, thanks. Is that all? What kind of fucking conversation was that? The mill. This is the old mill, right? 
I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. I think that he knows that. Are you kidding? Or else he wouldn't be a bouncer outside. You should probably outside. just go. I don't think I would mess with somebody that has face tattoos. You know what? Let me inside now. You started a backtalk challenge? Huh. Well, fucking challenge on. Let's go. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. In backtalk, you use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. All right, let's don't go. Do you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. Ah, uh, boo. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? What is this shit on the bottom? To succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. Bedtime, okay? It's just like in your face, bitch. No bedtime, your bedtime, do me a solid. Uh, let's joke around with him and say, your bedtime? Aww, oh, isn't it past yours? <laughs> we told cute. him. But I still don't know you. Well, you can get to know me. Again, listen to your opponent's words. Real cute but I still don't know you. Once again, cute is just like in your motherfucking face. I don't do cute. What could it hurt? Cute is relative. Let's say I don't do cute. Look at my face. I only do ugh Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Sometimes the right choices are more difficult to pick out. Here, playground is a good response to kid. This isn't a playground? Fine, I'll sneak in. I'm not a kid. Okay, so they're giving me the answer. It's playground. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. Ooh, man, these insults, these Girl, roasts. You? I can't protect you in there. Girls kick ass? A girl like me? I'm not worried. You know what? It's 2017. Girls kick ass. Girls? Girls kick Better ass, recognize. you idiot. I can take care of myself. My boss will kill me if I let you in. Well, don't be a little pussy boy! Who's your boss? Is your boss your mom? I want names, first Follow and last. Up. Maybe middle. Do you live in your boss's basement? You're, you're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Did I do no. it? <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. Come what on. if I had a knife? No What problem. if I had a gun? gun? Don't care. What if I had... What if I had an RPG to the throat? An army of robot ninjas and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. Wait, that bullshit got her inside? Flamethrower dragon mumbo jumbo? What kind of fucking bouncer is this? Guys, the dialogue is cornier than the shit I took this morning. I don't even know what's going on. Max is rolling over in her grave right now. This is intense. Oh, 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 shit. Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. Wait, is that him? Was that the same dog? Scream, don't touch my soul with dirty hands. Ain't nobody want to touch you even with clean hands. That guy is stoned out of his mind. He doesn't even know where he is right now. Wait, this place is intense. Just follow the lights and the sound. Looks like nobody's here. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Let's pet the pit bull. No, don't ever pet a pit bull. You gotta look at it first. That dog is fierce. Yeah. Can we talk to him? You know what? Let's pet the dog. What's her name? Delia. She looks like the spawn of Satan. Oh, but she's so cute. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah. Me three. Drunk girl. Drunk or dead? Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. I don't think she cares right now. Oh, wait. She's awake. Hey, what's up, mamacita? Whoa. 20 bucks, baby. Calm your bald ass up. That's robbery. And don't call me baby. Fine. 20 bucks, thief. <laughs> That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. No. What? No, no, I need no, to no, get no. creative to get a shirt. Well, you don't have twenty we bucks. Have to set this up exactly. If you don't have twenty bucks, beat it. Mm. Still a dick. Still a bald dick. No. No, 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 no. Can we talk to somebody for twenty bucks? How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Let's speak to this guy. 
Yo. He looks Frank. like good people. Hey. Oh, Frank. That's the guy with the dog. Chloe. I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. So? What are you even doing here? Nothing wrong with trying hard. I'm here hard. to see Firewalk, man. They rock. Oh, that's where I want to be. That's where the party How'd is. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? God, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Is it just me, or is the dialogue really awkward? How about some weed? Do you come here a lot? Later. How about some weed, Frankie Poo? Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Ooh, that's Shit. a lot of money. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. Yeah, let's kiss that high goodbye. Never mind, Ben. <sighs> Suit yourself. Wait. Maybe I can get some of the weed and then give it to that bald fucker, and then I can get a shirt. Yeah, let's try she that. Returns. I want some weed. About now. About that weed. Uh, here it comes. Spot me. How about you spot me some? Hit me with it. You know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. I learned my lesson last time. Money first. Fuck. He's Never a smart mind, one. Ben. <sighs> Suit yourself. Damn it. Okay, I guess my plan didn't work. Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. <laughs> Chloe, you're so funny. Classy. Classy? Let me see. Ooh, ooh, that is classy. I want to get into that class. Let's take one of these beers. Wait, how old are you, Chloe? I feel like this is the wrong choice. Drink more, feel less. Yes. I feel like this is going to bite me in my hairy ass later. Saw blade. Maybe we can take it and cut that bald guy's head off and then get a shirt. Graffiti everywhere. I think they missed a spot. Well, let's go fill that spot in. And then we'll dance with that guy because he looks like he's having a great time. Evil eye or spin? Let's spin. Do we spin that? Oh, we make a spin. Sit and spin. <laughs> cool. I guess we're not gonna get a shirt because I don't know how to do it. I looked around everywhere, guys. I don't know where to go. I think I'm gonna go inside the crowd. Maybe I'll go. find 20 bucks on the floor. Excuse me. Oh. Ugh. Fuck. Sorry, sir. It looks better like that. Hey. You okay? I'm fine. Oh. I didn't Relax. expect that. You bumped into me, remember? Apologize, blow him off. He seems kind of sus. Think I'm gonna apologize though. Yep, my bad, dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Some nope. guy with extremely don't hot care breath. Either. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. Wow. All right. Really? Mosh pit is a no go. Fine. We're gonna go through the stairs? I Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Please. New dialogue unlocked. Okay, good. With this guy? If you don't have 20 bucks, beat it. If you don't have hair, why don't you beat it? Still a dick. That's a clean, bald head, man. No. I can see my future in that head. We're just gonna go up these stairs. Fuck this. Don't be a pussy. Thank you. That's the savage Chloe I know and love. See, now you get to enjoy the show. Oh, yes! <laughs> Finally made it! I can't believe it! Is this gonna be copyrighted? <laughs> it might be. So we might have to jam out to this with no music. <laughs> when there's no music, this is probably looking awkward. I'm pretty sure this is gonna get copyrighted. Oh god, these dudes. You spilled my beer! Bitch! I'll do it again if I could, bitch! Don't ever talk to a you woman like that. You should be like more that. careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. I don't like your sideburns. Insult, apologize, walk away. You know what? 
We are not walking away from this guy. We are going to insult him and his friend. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt Woo! hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. She's <laughs> gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. Uh -oh. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Grab that chair. Oh, really? Hey, dickhead. Is that Rachel? Choose carefully. This action will have consequences. Attack or run. Okay, um, if I attack him, then maybe I can, you know, talk to Rachel Amber. And then we can just whoop ass together. If I run, then I don't think that I'll be able to talk to Rachel. So I'm going to attack. Ah! Oh! Damn, we got punched! Rachel? Run! Come on! Hell yeah! So we attacked and we ran together. Hurry up! Help me, Frank! Let me go, Frank! Not gonna happen! Calm down! My Come hero! On, Walk away. Screw this. <laughs> Bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Good guy, Frank. And we're front row. See, everything worked out in the end. I knew I was right to attack. Whoa, calm down. <laughs> They're not that good. All right, here we go, guys. Episode one, I had to skip this first part because it was like a whole song. Pretty sure it was going to get copyrighted. And let's get the show on the road. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Daily rituals are important even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. This letter is to Max. Okay, let's read this. Max the loser. Yeah, that's right. I called you a loser. Want to know why? Because you weren't at Firewalk last night. Even Frank was there. He's my dealer, or mom, if you're reading this. He's my dealer and you shouldn't be reading this. It was maybe the greatest night of my life. I hiked to this old mill using the train tracks, then verbally abused this dumb bouncer until he let me inside. Firewalk was the shit. Who knew ragers like that went down in little old Arcadia Bay? Fuck Seattle! Plus I have a sweet ass black eye for a souvenir. No big deal, but there were these two asshole skeevy guys whose manhood I wrecked. Oh yeah, and I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night, loser? Firewalk plus Chloe is greater than Max. Salty! Chloe, wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon. Ooh. Her Last mom is a great cook too, right? She works at the diner. Seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? Hell yeah, it was. You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. Okay, let's change our clothes. After Ask we look at the Miss computer. Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Did you hear about Firewalk coming to town? I checked all the local venues, but nobody knows anything. Sergio 22. Not all local venues, apparently. Okay, Wait, this is just some what? random mumbo jumbo. Who? What photo? Where? I have feelings about this. Oh, this photo Most right here? Most of them are not good feelings. Rachel said Firewalk. Trevor said Jealous. Victoria said You Look Hot. Who's the arm candy? Armand said Deborah something. Deborah Borgen, I think. Deborah Borgen? Who the fuck is Deborah Borgen? Oh, they're mistaking Chloe for somebody named Deborah Borgen. Trevor said, dude, that's Chloe Price. Victoria said, Taylor, wasn't Rachel invited to your sleepover last night? I was wondering where she was. So some people know who Chloe is, some people don't. Uh, good old Victoria. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? I don't know. But let's switch this off. We don't want any more music playing. Let me change my clothes. Can't be smelling like cigarettes. I hate that smell. 
Raven, bonus outfits, butterfly. What's bonus outfits? Illuminati, hot dog man. Let's go with that. I like the sound of that, hot dog man. That's hot dog man? Man, I fucks with hot dog man. I really should get going. Nope, we gotta cover up our eyes. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Nice. Good girl, Max. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. I saved all of these. You have to delete that photo of me dancing. Haha. <laughs> Only you could get me to loosen up like that. Happy two month anniversary, Elliot. Okay. Two month anniversary. Corny ass. We need to cover up our black eye. Yeah, no one needs to see that. Thank you. I don't even know what that was. Better living through chemistry. <laughs> MJ420. Such a cliche stoner. I saw an eye patch here. Can we put that on? I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. Yeah. So we can't cover our black eye, I guess. Nice one, Chloe. Mom's gonna love the new look. Yeah. I don't think I can do that. So we are gonna head out the room and we are gonna get that eggs and bakey. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? You had Chloe, one beer. Are you that much of a lightweight? Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. She literally had one beer and then she was dancing her ass off. You got me fucked up. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Simple enough. I guess nobody has house phones nowadays. We only gotta use cell phones. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Hey, I'd fuck that guy. I mean, he is an asshole, but we know what kind of guy he is in the end. So, all this forgiven, right? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Not here. Is it here? Downstairs? No, it's gotta be upstairs then. What's in here in the bathroom? It is. It's gotta be in here. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my toilet? hair. Toilet. There we go. Oh. Wonder how there many pills I've missed. Wonder how much bacteria is on that phone. Mom, one new message. Will you be coming home at some point tonight? Will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Uh-oh. Spanish test sucked. Lucky if I passed. Aw, lo siento. No, I think I did okay. Cool. What you up to? Not much. Got shit to do later. Okay. You finished the chem homework? Nope. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything. What a boring text conversation. Let's see what we said to Frankie Poo. Your shit's here. Hell yeah. But tapped out, sorry. Your loss. Hey, you can hold it for me a day. Can I? I'm your favorite customer. Are you? Frank, you holding? You still owe me. You gonna have me whacked? Yes, please joke about that over text. Um, you deal drugs on this phone. Anyway, come on, it's 420. I'll meet you if you have the cash. Ah, rain check. Max said, so sorry, I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max. How's it going? You there? Gah, sorry again. I've been really busy. You'd love Seattle more in a bit. Cool. Maybe some hitchhiking in my future. Hey, hippie. I'm so sorry. Maybe we should set up a time to call. Man, Max, you're so bad at communicating. No worries. I'll check my dance card. It's 7 p.m. in Arcadia Bay. What is it? 2019 in Seattle? I know, right? Maybe this weekend. Sure, anytime. Let me know. Yo, Queen of the Crickets. What's the latest? Max? 
Uh, Chloe, breakfast. Max Bring is so bad at communicating. Weekend. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't I remember I why. In her room. Like, I can't remember why Max was so bad at communicating. I kind of forgot. I played that game last year. So things are kind of hazy for me. I should have played it right before I played this. Like, just to catch up on things. But the mom needs her purse, right? Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine. If I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Maybe you should sell it so you could pay Frank back. Can you grab my cell phone, too? Jeez, Mom. No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Coming! Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Who says that? Who says dining table, here I come? Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. All right, what do you want, mama? Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry, I'll do better. I was sleeping. Let's just apologize. She is our mom. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Because nobody got time for that. Let's talk about David. Is he giving it to you good? Do you, you love him? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe, you don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be yeah. old fashioned. Yeah. He is a dickhole. An old fashioned dickhole. Okay, we'll talk about school. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. I'm curious Let's to see Chloe fight. in the school setting. I made you breakfast. Nah. I'll Hopefully we get to see all the characters. Grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? Ta, oh, that's a knee slapper. I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe David could help. Hmm, I kind of don't like the way Chloe is acting, especially towards her mom, who's just trying to help her out. Let's just say maybe David could help. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. I hear the noises. David thinks You guys go at it like point. two hyenas. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. Ooh, come on, that's a low blow. That's a low blow. Let's just go with David's an asshole. Your boyfriend's an asshole. He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because oh, he's Oh, I don't rude. want anybody rubbing me the right way, the wrong he's way anyway. He's still breathing. Uh -uh. That means I've been more than fair. Uh -uh. David's had some hard times too, you know. 
if he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. <laughs> when he takes you to school today. Very funny. He's taking me to school. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Be understanding or say what you feel. I feel like in order to get like the best ending, we just gotta be understanding. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. <laughs> and the tone of her voice Thank changes. You. Mom, I understand you I don't know you're need dealing with so anymore. much, Mom. I love you, Mom. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Aww. Mm -hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Okay, well at least I'm that conversation felt pretty real. about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. I feel like the conversations so far in this game seem really mechanical. They don't seem natural. And it's throwing me off. Hopefully the conversation with David is real too. Here like it feels they real. Are. You guys know what I mean? I hope you guys know what I mean. Like the original Life is Strange game had conversations that felt more natural. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. It's colored square. What was over here? Family pic used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. Why would you take it down, though? What's this? Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, he's gonna be working in, uh, in the school. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Ooh, somebody texted me. It's from Steph. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gringrich. Hey, I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. DVD? What in the world? What a piece of crap. The car, too. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. In my head, I was like, okay, she's gonna say something about the car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. Jeez, that is the squarest head I've ever seen. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. <laughs> Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I'd gotten to my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Are we supposed to be going to school? What is this? Quality time. I can take time? that bike right there. Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Yes. Little do you know, he's moving right in. You're gonna have to start calling him Papa soon. 
David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? I guess. I'm just trying to look for the socket wrench. Pick it up! Fuck my uncle, 50 -50 man. Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the, the face with so this. The camera's so sensitive. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. Ninety-five-five. I'd do it. I'd do it right now. So. You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Why is he such a dick? Here you go. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed. Smack you. him across the face. Do it! Ah! Why? Smack him across the face, Chloe. Come on, do it for me, do it for Jay. Do it for them. You guys at home, do it for... See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits? Pump. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this. If you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Except fist bump? I'm gonna fist bump this dude? Leave him hanging? Oh, God. This is so awkward. It's so cringe. Look at that fucking fist bump hanging in the air. Fuck it. Except that. God damn, get that off me. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> oh, the cringe. Why? Why the fist bump? Why not a hug? Anything. Just don't do anything at all. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that small thing? <laughs> that ain't as big and thick as my toolbox, you know what I'm saying? Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. God, Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Shut this down, ignore, and endure. We're shutting this shit down right now. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. Hell yeah! What's clear is fuck you. Yeah. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Let's shut language? this guy down. Military language. French is a language. Mustache. Military language. Here. They Let cuss me put up that a storm in, in the military. You'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Can't threaten me. You're stupid. Let me dumb it down. Ooh. Let me dumb it down for you. It's a good you. one. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? You're the crap master. Thought I smelled crap, yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. I like this. I like this you... picking dialogue thing. Your mother. This little back and forth. You're breaking her heart. Leave mom out of this. Don't pretend to care. At least she has a heart. Woo! At least she has a heart. Savage. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero <laughs> game? I was in the army. You will respect me. You're not my father. I didn't enlist. Bill of Rights, fool. I didn't enlist. I don't remember enlisting. So don't treat me like your newest recruit. Got him. If you were a man, I... It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. Woo! Damn! This game so far totally redeemed itself trying. with this back and forth just now. That Mission was good. accomplished. We did good. Yeah, you can smile. You deserve that. Cool. Okay, guys. 
So I think I'm going to end this episode here. I don't know how much longer episode one is, but I think this is three total episodes. If you guys would like to see the next episode as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too! <laughs>